Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this series strategy game, and we are returning to a let's play of Democracy 4, playing as ultra capitalist Germany. And things aren't going exactly great for now. So, we've got a ministerial resignation over here. So, one of our uh, ministers has resigned. That's pretty bad. That's going to have a couple of negative consequences, which are curiously not shown over here. But we're also losing one donor of our party. So, Things aren't going great as we are nearing the next election, and we are also probably going to see the water shortage here in a moment. On the other hand, we've got a very nice surplus over here, even as the global economy is uh, turning down, our economy is doing pretty well over here, so I'm fairly happy about that. How close are we actually to getting completely rid of our debt? Well, that would be about 70 turns. That's not actually that bad, uh, all things considering. But yeah, let's let's look at our cabinet. So there are a couple of things. Also, Mr. Herbert Berkman over here has uh, basically decided to become entirely unhappy. I don't know why, because he is a self-employed capitalist. He should like us a lot. We've done a lot for the capitalist and we've done a lot for the self-employed. But I think for some reason the game mostly treats these statuses as they currently are, not how they are developing. So, yeah, that's still big of a, a big issue, so let's try to um, address that in some way. So we are going to reshuffle our entire cabinet over here and basically fire everyone and then rehire them into different roles. And in between episodes, I did have a look over here at who we could hire for specific roles. So let's go through that. I think Mr. Londolf, Ludolf, I don't know. I think he's a good candidate for foreign policy. He's a patriot, which is not great. He's a capitalist, which of course is very nice for us. For welfare, I thought about Heidemarie. Heidemarie, where are you? Yeah, Heidemarie Feucht over here. She's a little bit of a curious one. She's for state employees and environmentalists. Two groups which we haven't exactly catered for, but she's still extremely loyal and her experience is coming up. So yeah, I think that's very nice. Let's have her in that role. And then in terms of economy, that should be Ilse. Where is Ilse Koenig over here? Capitalist, ethnic minorities. She's also extremely good at campaigning, so I'm going so to hire her. She's not extremely happy right now, but I think uh, we will be able to do that in just a moment. And then we've got... Sorry, we've got tax. Who did I put in, into economy? Oh, you. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, fine. Um, and then we've got tax, and tax should be Sophie. So let's look for Sophie. Sophie, 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 Sophie. Anywhere, Sophie Foyt. Curiously, the same surname over here, self-employed capitalist. I think you should be doing great, but for some reason you aren't. Um, and then in terms of public services, I think that's Herbert down here somewhere. Do we see your Herbert? Yeah, Herbert Berkman. I don't know why he's so disloyal, um, but I do hope that that will be solved at some point. Um, but yeah, let's see about that. And in terms of law and order, that's Kerstin. Kerstin. Kerstin? Why not you, actually? Oh, Patriot? Yeah, I don't, I don't like that that much. Margaret Kerstin. Kerstin Boehm over here. Environmentalist and capitalist, I think you should be pretty great. And then in terms of our transport minister, we are going to go for one Jacob. Jacob Schuster over here, capitalist, environmentalist. Again, not that great, but I think that's fine. Very female cabinet over here, I like it. Good. Right, so that should at least give us some political power gain every turn. Um, 19 political power, that's nice. We can save up, up to 36 in entirety. But yeah, we are still struggling with a couple of things over here. And some of our guys are actually, I think, also committed to the to the young people. Are you? The youth. No, we've no sympathetic, uh, no one who's sympathetic to your cause. We've got a lot of people who do like environmentalist stuff. That's curious. Yeah. But still, we are still struggling with a lot of these things. I mean, we did introduce a junk food tax here to try to tackle the obesity issues. But yeah, with drug addiction, it just might go away, I don't know. Hospital overcrowding, definitely not going to go away. And respiratory diseases. With the environment as is, I do not think that we are going to make any progress there. So we definitely should try to do something about the environment. But I don't know what. We have very little in terms of things that we can do 
that are still, you know, being considered um, capitalist. So, hmm, that's a bit difficult, actually. We could do the Climate Change Adaption Fund. And that also, I think, helps with the water shortage, doesn't it? It does actually not, so that's curious. We could do the Keep the Countryside Tidy campaign, so just a little bit of propaganda. I mean, let's do it, it's not that expensive, it doesn't help that much, and it's driving up environmentalist membership, which I typically dislike, um, at least in this in this playthrough, so yeah, let's see about that. We are not going to subsidise anything, so there's definitely nothing going to be on that side. I would like to do the driverless car laws, but I don't think that ultimately we're going to be super able to do that. Definitely nothing helping us in terms of law and order. Yeah, and I'm really not sure I want to do any of that. Organization, that would help help health. Religious people dislike us though to begin with. We could do the state water company, um, but uh, yeah, I don't think so. Unemployment, it doesn't do anything in terms of water shortage, which is curious. Yeah, well, I'm tempted to go for the cyberbullying awareness campaign because, no, that's internet crime. There's also cyberbullying. That's a bit an issue for the young people and it would be nice to get rid of that before the election. So, let's say 15 percentage points there and that should uh, help us out there. It's, it's not the biggest effect here, right? So, this is not huge things that we're doing over here, but it just does help a little bit. So, yeah, let's do that with 15 percentage points. That should actually be... Right about okay. Yeah, I guess over here. So we're going to spend some money on that. Oh, actually, young people do like that in and of itself. So that's nice to see. Good, yeah, so that will be double positive. Right, let's be a little bit more radical. So we're going to save up a little bit. Oh, and we've got a spouse scandal over here. A private jet? We are capitalists. What do you expect? Socialists do like us a lot. And you do want... A uh, punitive tax on superstars? No! No! Go away! We don't need you! There's a very small budget surplus now as our income is collapsing basically. Curiously, why did that collapse? I don't think we changed anything in terms of... in terms of the economy. And our economy is still doing extremely well, so... I'm not sure why that went down that much. No, our economy is doing fine. Crime is going up, that's not good. Poverty is going down, that's good to see. Unemployment, still pretty high. I would like to bring that down a little bit. Yeah, but we are doing relatively fine in terms of happiness, even though everyone is a little bit uh, sad due to that effect that we just had. Right. Pollution, it would be great if we had a market mechanism to, to try to address that, but I don't think we do. So, you know what, let's just try to make our capitalists a little bit more happy. I think that will also help with a lot of these people over here. So, capitalists, where are you? Capitalists over here. Right, so you guys are getting more and more, right? Yeah, you're up to 74% of the population. So that's nice to see. But, oh, rent controls. Yeah, I think we definitely want to get rid of that. We could dial down on the corporate tax a little bit, but I don't want to do that right now. So that's fine. I would like to address the unemployment benefits at some point. That is something that we really don't need, do we? So that would cost us 21 to cancel that. The poor would hate that. Unemployment would go down, so that's nice to see. Poverty would go up, so that's not great. But socialist membership would also go down. Now, I don't want to replace that entirely, but maybe we can replace that by food stamps. So, you know what? Let's actually do that. Let's get rid of unemployment benefits completely this is this is a little bit of a crazy let's play so uh, but yeah we do want to do that where is it i think it must be under wellness right so no or economy probably economy well we can just look at this over here right so it should be something that's making you pretty happy right yeah there we go okay this is costing us currently four billion so let's cancel that and you know four billion eight percent effect on Poverty. Cancel that. Now, if we go to welfare and go for food stamps, that's also 4 billion. And do, how much effect does it have on poverty? So it's pretty much the same. So that's nice. 
and it's making socialists a little bit more happy, but it does not drive up their membership. It's also increasing our compassion, so that's nice to see, and equality is also going up. So you know what? I think this is going to be the much better policy here uh, to help out the poor. Yeah, let's go with that. And actually, it's not even screwing with the capitalists, so... Yeah, I think they should be pretty happy. Okay, you guys are starting to become really, really unhappy. But I'm fine with that if the capitalists are now go getting more happy. So, that should be pretty nice, shouldn't it? Yeah, we don't have that much political power left. Anything we want to do drastically over here? Well, we're for a fraud department. We'll drive down our compassion, so I don't think that is something that we don't want to do right now. Well, that would make you a little bit more happy, but it just doesn't actually help. Enterprise Investment Scheme is a great one, actually, because it's driving up happiness and membership of self-employed and capitalists. And we do have a little bit of money left, so we can actually do that. I don't like tax breaks, but I do like investment. There's also one of the things that we could do, Stand by Racism Week, that would help the... It's actually not encouraged by uh, minorities, which is interesting. Hmm. Witness Protection Program? Yeah, I don't think we need that. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do anything. Carpooling is one of the few ones that I would consider under tax, uh, under, under this hyper-capitalist thing. And of course, the CO2 tax and alcohol tax, that might actually be also interesting because I still think we are still heavily affected by the alcohol abuse over here. Which is driven by poverty? Yeah. And unemployment, actually. Yeah, and the alcohol awareness campaign, even though it's pretty much maxed out, it just doesn't help. Okay, so let's save up some political power here. And yeah, we've got the water shortage. That's not great. Farmers dislike it, food prices are going to go up. I don't think there's much that we can do. We could help out with the environment and plant-based diets, but eh, it's difficult. Uh, we are going to reject this law because that is going to make capitalists more happy. And we need to think about the rare earth, cri rare earth crisis. That's, that's a nifty one. That would basically kill some of our good effects. So that would not be great. I really, really want to avoid that. Budget report. Well, we are doing fine here in terms of money. I don't know why we had this collapse in income over here. That's a curious one. I don't think we cut any taxes, did we? Let's br briefly look at our income over here. So, we are mostly getting money from the income tax. Solidarity tax. We are mostly spending money on state pensions. So, I actually want to cancel state pensions because we do want to get to a system where there's only private pensions. Mm. And that is also going to be a little bit better for, for us overall, I think. It's going to be hugely expensive. 38 political power. Can we actually save up that much? We can. No, I don't think we can because that's probably going to be, be rounded down next turn. Well, we might try. So, let's make sure that we have got at least 20. So, spend at most 7. We are getting close to the collect uh, to the election, so we do need to keep that in mind. Um, anything else that we do could directly do for capitalists, which would be sort of getting rid of some of these very negative effects over here. Yeah, well, there's a lot of effects here that... State broadcasters. Interesting that you don't like that. Yeah. And I do want to introduce the alcohol tax because these things are just not great. Healthcare demand. Health continues to be one of the big issues that we've got over here. And hospital overcrowding really, really screws with the parents. So if we could bring up health, bring down hospital overcrowding, that would be great. I mean, this is maxed out already so that is nice but yeah we do need to bring up that the drug addiction is still one of the big issues and it's just not going down fast enough this is this is annoying drug treatment scream yeah that's maxed out on police yeah we could do that a little bit more police force overall 
So how much less do we need? I don't think much. Maybe six to seven percent. This is maxed out. Yes, yes. So if we were to increase the police force, so that should go down to minus ten, right? Well, it's possible. It's also going to be very expensive. And some people are going to dislike it a lot. Well, corruption would go down. Alcohol abuse would also go down. You people would like that a lot. That's actually not bad. Even conservative, even liberals don't, don't hate that. And it's only going to cost four political power. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's be a super effective police state over here so that we can get rid of these issues here. Just make or use the stuff that we have and that should be fine. Right, um, yeah, we're going to offer amnesty. Why not? Let's keep you. Let's get you in here. We've got the real estate bubble. I don't think it's much of an issue. It just doesn't seem to go up over here. But we do need to be mindful about the rent controls. Because if we cut you, that might actually drop down. And the capitalist percentage over here is actually going to go up. So, yeah, there's going to be some issue there. And we're going to get closer to the campaigning season over here. So only three more turns until we can do that. So... Basically, if there's anything that we are worried about in terms of voting intentions here, um, we should be a little bit mindful about that. So, how are we looking in terms of parties? So, we don't have a lot of members, which is interesting, and we've basically no activists. So, the new technocrats here, they're, they're a lot more supportive can't do anything in this terms for now I've got a lot more money well basically we we just basically pick the wrong things down there but you know what that's fine and we are at 38 political power over here so that's extremely nice so that we now we can be a little bit more aggressive over here and and do some some fancy fa fancy things. Right. What 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 did we want to do? So I think we want to. No no no. It wasn't any of that. Oh no, it was state pensions. Right. This would massively drop our support. Retired. I don't think the retired people mind that much. They are very happy about this. That's around 45%. But state pensions are also around, let's say, 50%. And they would go down to go up to basically around 100. And that's also around 45%. So I don't think that makes mo that much of a difference. And it's going to decrease the amount of socialists over a certain time. The poor would like, the poverty would go up. But capitalists would like that a lot. Let's go ahead. Let's cancel it. We are really, really turbo capitalists over here. Let's let's see how, how well that is going to turn out. Ooh, drug addiction has gone away. That's lovely to see. But resources are obsolete. So that's, that's a downer. But we are maxed out on GDP already. So it doesn't actually matter that much. Crime is coming down very aggressively. Nice. Health is going up now that drug addiction has gone away. And that should probably mean that our budget is going to look a lot better now. Because the expenditures here for treating all of these uh, drug users is coming down. And actually all of our healthcare state credits uh, are going to go are going to be a lot less expensive. So that's actually very nice. Oh, and of course it's also the state pensions, right? So, yeah, that's probably the bigger effect here. Right, but that's very nice because now we've got a huge, huge surplus. So that's down to, what, 20? Well, 40 turns, maybe? 40 turns and, and our debt would be entirely gone. We don't need to do that, but it's still very nice to see that we can do that. So basically, we can reduce the taxes and that should be pretty nice for some. It's also very great to see that our vouchers are now pretty much the main thing that we are doing here in this terms. Why are you still so crumpy? We are helping out the capitalists a lot over here. Yeah, but we are still at 38, and I think we are actually getting more capital per turn over here. So that is very nice. And our capital, uh, our happiness here is actually going up. And capitalists, you are trending up. 
you are definitely trending up here. And we are now at 84% of our population are that. And only 15 or so are socialists. That's very, very nice to see. Is there actually anything that is driving up your membership still? University grants, these are the one things that I don't want to touch. And child benefits, yeah, child benefits are, are really, really nice, actually. I don't think there's much that we can do to, to get that into a more capitalist approach. Yeah, state pensions are gone, so that's really nice. Anything else that you are happy about? Unhappy about? The rent controls, yeah, I think they are a big issue from a capitalist perspective. But that has a decent chance of, of getting us a very negative effect. Private housing. You are... Ooh, interesting. Private housing is driving down socialism. So... And this is actually driving socialism up, right? No. It's not increasing... Yeah, it is. So, so, no, this is just opinion. It's not socialism. It's only socialist. Sometimes it's really hard to... To um, distinguish these things. Right, so how are we doing in terms of cyberbullying? That should go away. That's very nice. That should bring up our popularity a little bit. Internet crime should start to collapse. But not enough, I think. But there's very little that we can do. Short of censoring internet. Alcohol abuse, that would be really nice if we could bring that down more. Yeah, but we just can't. This basically max out. Except by introducing alcohol taxes. Obesity, mm, going down very, very slowly. And where's the water shortage? Over here. Yeah, very little that we can do. So nothing can be done over here, nothing over there. Consumer rights, no, 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 no. State energy company, no. Capital controls, no. Minimum wage, certainly not. I do want to introduce the rare earth mining over here at some point. Environmentalists won't like that, but patriots do, and we actually do need that to get rid of the negative effect over there. So that is something that we do want to look forward to at 32 political power. So there is that. Don't want to lose subsidies, but I do want to help out with the environment somewhat. I think basically carbon taxation here is the only way to do that. And it would make sense, you know, this is this is the closest to a market mechanism that we've got over here. By the way, what's your... You would increase the water shortage here, yeah, that's what I thought. State water company is not necessarily being the most efficient. Yeah, really not much that we can do. So let's focus on the rare earth stuff and let's see whether we can do anything short term here to help out the capitalists. We could cut down some of the taxes over here, specifically corporate taxes is driving down your happiness quite a bit of all of these people actually. So that's nice. I don't want to completely abolish it. But we probably do want to bring it down. Yeah, let's do bring it down until here, I think. That's that's a good good one. That's a good compromise. I like it. And then we're going to also cut some of the other things. So, yeah, I think that's nice. And that would bring us to 32 or so. Yeah, that's, that sounds good because I think that would allow us to... Very nice. Driverless car laws. Okay, can I do that? You know what? If you want to, we do have the political power in the moment. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Motorists are going to like that. Commuters are going to like that. Tech is going to go up. Capitalist uh, opinion is going to go up. And industrial automation is going to go up. So, yeah, that's that's very nice. Um, no. We're going to allow that. Capitalists are happy about that. So, that's nice to see. Crime coming down. Good. GDP going up. Is there any crime left? Yeah, a little bit. And poverty is kind of high, but it's not tremendously high. And unemployment is actually ticking down, so that's that's good to see. 
situation imminent? It's not quite imminent. So, but we did just boost technology further. So, yeah, that might be that might be a big issue here. But you do have so many good effects. Well, not on internet crime, but on all of these other things. So that's nice to see. Yeah, I think we're going to see some positive effects over here. And I'm very happy uh, that the cyberbullying is gone. So that's at least a good good chance, a good change over here. Right. So. What is our priority right now then? Um, let's basically just briefly look at industrial automation over here because I think it's going to go up by a lot over here. And I'm not sure what it does. It does increase unemployment. So unemployment is going to go up. And that's a bit of an issue. By the way, is there any threat of anyone? Nope. Everyone is, is doing fine. Which is okay. And internet crime? Yeah. Well, technology is going to go up. So I don't think our Intel services are going to be able to deal with that in a sufficient manner. It's nice that crime is trending down, so that is going to go away. But just the tech alone will probably mean that that is an issue. And I don't think there's anything that we can do in this terms except for internet censorship. Which seems pretty drastic to me. Yeah, that would actually bring down a, a lot of <laughs> a lot of good opinions. So, yeah, I don't think that's something that we want to do. Yeah. So, let's try to save up a little bit on political power. Oh, we could do some pledges over here um, for our next term. And I think what I would like to do is I would like to cut the income tax by 25%. Is that viable at all? It's currently at 42, so we need to be around over here, right? Yeah, around about. So that would be 37 million. So that would cost us 50 billion per quarter. Middle income would really like that. Capitalists would really like that. Yeah, you know what? That is a pledge that I'm going to make. It's over here, right? Pledges. Manifesto. Let's be, let's be capitalist about that. Socialists don't like that. Middle income loves it. So, yeah, I think that's that's great to see. Fundraising. Yeah, we're not doing great, but that's fine. So, yeah, let's see how the election is going to turn out for us over here. So, let's start the count. Okay, not looking bad at all, not looking bad at all. We are earning a lot of votes over here. There are a lot of non-voters, mind you, but still we are getting 56% of the vote. So I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, the opposition is spending a lot more money, but, you know, it's it's kind of curious that we as the capitalists, we don't have the money, uh, but we do have uh, the people to, to actually uh, support us. So, yeah, even though they are outspending us, and that's that's kind of curious to see. But yeah, there we go. Uh, we are spending the next uh, term over here. No, I don't want to reshuffle. I think everyone is fine. Um, even Mr. Berkman over here. So that's great to see. Real estate bubble. Yeah, still a thing. Expand right of way. No, 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 no. We are in favor of private property. So that's good to see. Oh, look at that. The GDP is for the first time actually coming down a little bit over here. Um, but I think that's fine. It's mostly in effect here of... Uh, the global economy tanking and we're just you know we're just following that path a little bit and as soon as that is going to go up again uh, I think we'll be fine so we don't need to be too concerned about that I think so everything's good over here I think so basically I think for the last term over here or for the next term in office we just basically want to continue the path that we are currently going um, and just get rid of the last, let's say, obstacles to to the happiness of all of the uh, capitalists over here. So yeah, look at that. All these um, people are, I think, driving up the happiness of these people too. So that's great to see. And I think their membership is basically, yeah, at nearly 90%. So that's, that's very great to see. And I think some of these things are actually coming up over time, don't they? Yeah, just a couple of percentage points here and there. That's not that much, actually. So it's just probably one or two percentage po percentage points still outstanding. University grants, yeah, that I don't want to do. Capital gains tax is, is an interesting one. 
equality, interestingly enough, is driving up socialism because it's so low, I suppose. Yeah. One of the other things that we do need to address is poverty, right? So, we don't actually want people to be poor. We just want free market concerns. One of the few things, well, we've got all of these voucher systems, which I think are fine. And they drive down poverty. But one of the underdeveloped things is this up here, charity. Charity could be a lot higher, I think. Um, and that would actually be quite beneficial to health, poverty, foreign relations and education. So it's sort of a winner in all respects. And one of the few things how we could do that is by increasing the deductions here that are available for, for charity tax relief. And the idea here is a little bit that we would keep it up to private individuals to take over some aspects of that are usually trend done by, by the state. So I don't think that's that's a bad idea at all. Yeah, let's raise that. And I think that will help out by shifting uh, the burden a little bit to, to the private sector. So that being said, we had a great electional victory over here. So I'm going to think a little bit about what we want to do to finish this lunch, uh, little uh, run through over here. And you guys can join me again next time around. Hope you did like. Um, if you did, do leave a like and everything. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you around next time. Bye bye, guys.